No sleep, bus, club, another club. The girlies in London. Habibi, come to Dubai. <laughs> November 19th. If you are new to my channel, what's up you guys? My name is Aaliyah Ariel. I make videos about lifestyle, travel, and beauty content. So if there's something that you're interested in, please hit that red subscribe button. In today's video, girl, we are going all up, down, and through Dubai, okay? We're gonna be in these Dubai streets. I'm excited. I'm super excited. So for day one, we are gonna be going to the Old Souk to get our dress. And I'm gonna pop the technical term on the screen here. But we're gonna get our dress and everything for the mosque. We're also going to go to Black, Black Flamingo for brunch. And then we're gonna get into some nightlife activities. But girl, let me tell y'all about our travel day, okay? So my travel day was pretty long. I traveled from Houston to Charlotte, Charlotte to London, and then London to Dubai. And total, from charlotte to dubai i would say my flight was about 14 hours it was seven hours to london and then seven hours to dubai um which wasn't bad um i i really do think that if you are considering going to dubai please 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 pick a good airline i do not recommend american airlines for international flights okay do a delta or a sister company of some sort if you have to go through London, Heathrow. Y'all know when we go through TSA, we're supposed to have a one bag policy anyway, but in America, we are super, super spoiled. I had a toiletry bag. Do not pack your toiletry bag in your carry-on and your personal item. Pack your toiletry bag in your check bag because if not, they do abide by the one bag policy, your stuff will be in the trash, okay? Luckily, my friend was behind me, so her little one little baggie was not full so we just dumped some of my stuff in her bag so that's one thing that you guys need to know about if well no that's one thing you need to know if you're going to be traveling through london when you get to dubai they do give you a little travel sim card if you don't plan on using your regular um cellular service so you do get a travel sim card with one gigabyte of data so yeah i just want to get that out there before we start it today but we're dressed, y'all. I'm gonna go inside, show y'all the girls, show y'all the uh, the room. We did get here one day early before our Airbnb. So right now we're at the Four Points Sheraton, and I think it's at the Chic Zayed Road. Um, everything will be in the description box. But yeah, this is where we're gonna stay until we're able to check into our Airbnb later. So let's go inside. The room is a little bit smaller than what we would get in America, but. All of us fit comfortably in the bed. Was everybody comfortable? Yeah, everybody fit comfortably in the bed. So, yeah, this is a small little room tour. And then here's the bathroom. You get a standard shower, standard toilet, and a phone. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. All right, y'all. So, here is the outfit of the day. Cute, casual jumpsuit pretty little thing toy bird sandals and bag from she in i need to show y'all my shades they are super cute hold on let me go get them yeah she's giving rich aunts <laughs> Big coffee boy. 
No, thank you. Thank you, <laughs> Good morning. All right, y'all. So we are in here. Is it called Aya? Abaya? Abaya. Abaya and Jalabia. Abaya and Jalabia. Okay. Kaftan. Yeah. How much? If you look different, different the price, I will give you the special price, okay? So no what's the special? If you sell it for sale, so if you like, then you give the price. Okay? Okay. Mm, these are all the abayas. Y'all, I keep dropping my lens. It's not even sticking to the camera anymore, so. If y'all see a little crack on the lens, that's why. I'm gonna have to order a new lens, but right now we are trying on the cactons for the desert. That's cute, Maya. <laughs> yeah, me and just just getting these people thing. We we in a homemade elevator. We're going up. Yes, Burj Khalifa. Burj Khalifa. <laughs> Hi friend, what's your name? My name is Khan. Khan. Hi you? guys, this is Khan. He's trying on some abayas and jellabaya. Jellabia. Jellabia. <laughs> abaya, jellabia. I will very make exciting. happy for her. I give you good price. He's going to give us the because best. She's a very nice person. Yeah, I'm you the best. Me? I'm the best. Because you already have dress inside, you remove dress, it's comfortable. Oh, okay. I like the girl. The blue is taking it. The blue is Are taking it. Let me see. Leah, do it again. Do it again, Leah. Get it together. <laughs> yeah. How do we feel about the blue, you guys? Is it taking it or no? He gave Purple us some water. Alright, y'all. <laughs> so, we didn't purchase from the first one because we kind of just want to shop around and see what the prices are like. I was able to talk him down to $95 for the whole set, but we want to see if we can get it for even cheaper. So, we're about to go to the first place that we saw. Maya said the man told her $30, but we're going to see if it's really giving 30 Here's some little trinkets, y'all. They have like ashtrays, dishes, memorabilia of the birds. So these stores have perfume, they have the abaya, they got purses, they have so much stuff in here. Spices, so much stuff. These are the scarves that people wear to the desert, so yeah. Come to the old souk and get your abaya. Don't buy them from the mosque. They'll be cheaper here. Look at my friends trying to haggle the price. I make it three pieces. For each. Three cow. Yeah. Habibi. You can round it, then look. I like it. How much? How much? Let's go price. Japan. They have all these Pandora. Alright y'all, we are back at midpoint. We're back to come. We came back to see my friend Khan. I'm coming. All right, come on, Khan. Nice. I told you. Nice. Nothing. You ain't nothing. I had muffin. Y'all, Khan said he coming. Khan. I told you I was coming back. I'm waiting. I'm looking outside for you. No, we came inside for you. <laughs> you didn't sell my blue, did you? No, I have. Thank you. My favorite person. Mm -hmm. And now I will give you for a hug for you because you'll come back. I told you. Okay, y'all. We are leaving the gold souk after spending so much money. How much money y'all spent? Did y'all meet the girls? This is Jessica. Hi. And this is Maya. Hi. And we're leaving the gold souk. <laughs> I spent the money. I spent the most yeah, money, y'all. I bought it for us. Yeah. <laughs> I bought me and my matching necklaces. Always buying stuff, y'all. But yeah, we're about to go back to the hotel. We have to check out of the hotel and then go to the Airbnb. And I will show y'all everything that I have. 
Maybe once we get to the Airbnb later today. These are the cutest little boats. And here's our Uber. We riding in luxury, baby. <laughs> I got hit by the door. <laughs> okay, that's a sign for me to put the camera away. <laughs> taking this um gold purse from Shein as well let's see if i can try to get y'all full body view so we can see what we're looking like okay it ain't full body y'all but this is what i look like cute classy twerkable All right, so here is the face and better lighting. This little slight beat is giving, okay? She's just gonna rush now. Let's she in there taking pictures, doing Snapchats, doing TikToks. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Okay, y'all, so here is the face and better lighting. This little slight beat is giving, okay? Let's go. She in there taking pictures, doing Uber. I didn't say anything. I think she's lying. We're all thinking about the first itinerary, right? Is that correct? Yeah, it's probably the same answer, Lexi. Okay, so anyway, we're about to go to the correct spot, y'all. So, yeah, we're about to head to Seven Sisters, not Black Flamingo, y'all. We 
Okay, y'all, it's many hours later. We came home, we took a nap. Somebody got a different hairstyle. Tell them what happened. Uh, oh, girl. Oh, oh. Oh, don't <laughs> Just know they did what they were supposed to do. Look at well, she, she didn't like her hair, you guys. And now, I'm she's sure. taking it. She got the booty length braids. Baby, this hip length. <laughs> how, much, how much did you pay? Uh, I think it was only like two forty. For the hip length? The, yeah, because of the length. But Great. originally that, it was supposed to be cheaper than that. But I told her and I how long were you there? 3.5 hours. Worth the price. Yes. <laughs> Worth the price, okay? Who you know got their hair done in Dubai? Oh, mm -hmm. wait. But anyway, y'all, we came home, we took a nap. Seven Sisters was a vibe. The hookah was great. The food was okay. The mimosas were good to me. But yeah, we're dressed. We're about to go to a spot called La Kai. We're Lick it. And oh, this is what I'm wearing. If we ever get there. I don't know if y'all can see me this good, but this is what she's wearing. Okay, she's getting body. Body, yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm gonna wear my little gold clutch, and that's it, y'all. Unfortunately, I'm not bringing the camera, but I will be trapping from the iPhone, okay? So, y'all gonna get some behind the scenes footage. Right. Let's go. morning y'all day two in dubai we are getting ready to head to the mosque everybody is dressed in their abayas looking super cute i have my jalebia in the bag and then here is maya in her black and gold and just just went back to the back <clears throat> y'all our driver is downstairs waiting for us He's been down there about an hour. Uh, we had a night, okay? Last night, we had a time. We had a time last night, okay? And that's why we're moving slow this morning, but everybody looks so beautiful in their traditional wear. Here's Jess, I never showed y'all Jess. And her mint. So everybody has on different colors. Looking cute. We got a busy day today, y'all. So we're going to the mosque, we're going to the mall. And we're going to the garden. And we have dinner reservations at 7.30, so super jam-packed day. And then for those of you who are interested in coming to Dubai and going to the mosque, the mosque is an hour away. So we get to sleep a little bit on the way to the mosque and then sleep a little bit on the way back. I'm sleeping. You not sleeping? I know you not sleeping. Jay, she never sleeps. Okay. Last night we went to Lekki. Lekki, Lekai. It was so much fun. Please add it to y'all Dubai's Henry honey. The vibes was great. The music was great. The hookah was good. Only thing is, no food. You get free drinks for the ladies until 1 a.m. You get to choose from red wine, white wine, and vodka. You can make any type of drink with vodka, like cranberry vodka, pineapple vodka. Um, and then you can also make whatever drink you want. But go to Lekai, have a good time. And we're about to go to the mosque. I will call y'all once we get there. Many, many hours later and we've all came home we've showered and now we're about to go get some dinner 
Unfortunately, we missed out on everything else that we had planned today outside of going to the mosque. I think we underestimated the amount of time it would take to get to the mosque, observe the mosque, look around, and then drive back to our spot. So we literally got back here about what, an hour ago? Maybe an hour ago. And we were supposed to go to the mosque. No, we were supposed to go to the garden today as well as the mall. Yeah, we pretty much missed out on everything. But right now we're trying to talk about other ways and other days that we could put the garden and stuff like that. So, yeah, other than that, the mosque was amazing. Um, it was a great experience. I'm glad that it's something that we got to go do together. It was really hot, but that was to be expected. Um, and what I didn't know, y'all, is inside of the mosque, they have like, it's like a little shopping mall. They have places where you can get, oh, this way? Okay. <laughs> they have places where you can um, get souvenirs, you can get your drinks, they have food court and everything, y'all. So, it was a really great experience. Right now, we are about to go to Lily's social house to get some food. Maya and I. Hi. <laughs> We're about to go grab something to eat really quickly and then we're probably gonna come back to the airbnb and chill out because we're tired yeah we have arrived we just got back from the mall we Lily's social house hopefully we can come in and get seated oh yeah there's nobody in here crazy like all my crazy like all my Remember I deleted all my other girls' numbers out the phone for you. Remember when you had to take the bar exam, I drove in the snow for you. Yeah, you probably don't remember half the shit a nigga did for you. Yeah, you ain't really fuck with me way back then, but how about now? Cause I'm up right now. Hey, you suck right now. Oh, uh, you thought you had it all figured out back then, but how about now? Cause I'm up right now. Hey, you suck right now. Yeah. Birthday girl is decorating for her B day pics. Yeah. She got her black balloon. Say happy birthday. Hey. 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 What? Happy birthday <laughs> to you. To you. <laughs> what are we doing? Oh, this is gonna be cute. <laughs> These words too place. close together. Say that are you going it straight across or you yeah, gonna have it hanging like this? You want it like a little curve. Yeah. I think curve. Like a little curve. A little curve at least. Yeah. Aaliyah, Mari, this shit is not gonna stick to the little tape. Let me see the tape, cause I think y'all ain't finna fool me. You only need to put tape on the string. That's what I said. I was oh, trying to figure out why you put it on the string. Yeah. I was trying to figure out why you put it on the balloon. Yeah, don't waste it on the balloon. Just put it on the string. If you put it on the string, it's your hole. Yeah. Sponsored by Patron, celebrating a birthday girl for her 30th birthday. I just want to say happy birthday to such an icon. You're beautiful. You deserve everything good under the sun. Thank you. So let's talk to that. Wait, one. Because I don't mind. Good morning, guys. Happy Wednesday. Today's Tuesday. Oh my God, today is Tuesday. Y'all know, I never know what day of the week is. But hey, y'all, today is Maya's birthday. Happy birthday, Maya. Thank you. And then Jess is in the front seat. Deuces. <laughs> we on the way to the boat. Today is yacht day. Everybody looking all cute in their swimsuit. We're gonna show y'all some full bodies when we get there. I'm excited for boat day. And then a little bit later we have dinner where we're wearing all black we got the food the champagne well not really food but little snacks strawberries muffins and stuff like that so we're on the way to the marina i'll call y'all once we get there yeah we are in the marina area they have so many tall 
have skyscrapers and apartments, restaurants. I'm trying to find this boat, child. It don't look like we know in the water. <laughs> Happy birthday! amazing outside the guy told us he was like girl y'all chose well he didn't say girl i'm telling y'all girl he was like y'all chose the perfect time to come to dubai it's actually considered their winter season so it's not hot like i probably got a tan sun is out but it's not like <gasps> beaming it feels so good we were just out there sunbathing but yeah i'm about to go back upstairs chill out drink some wine eat some muffins and some fruit and stuff and i'll check back in with y'all later All right, y'all, we are back at the Airbnb, and Maya got us some cute pajamas and a gift bag. All right, let's open the gift bag. The pajamas are cute. If I can remember, I'm gonna link them down below for you guys. We got some eyelashes, some facial masks, some Born to Glow Illuminator. This would've been perfect for today on the boat. Poopery, lip gel, some cloth lips, okay? Yes. But the boat was fun, y'all. I think we are exhausted from the boat. So we have a couple of hours before we gotta be at dinner. It's 1.45. We gotta be at dinner at 5 o'clock. I'm done. This is today's view. This Airbnb is so big. But this is today's view. It feels so good outside today. Let's open the door. It feels so good. And the Airbnb came with this little patio furniture. We might spend girls' night out here. I don't know. And we got a pool down there. Oh, I didn't even see the little playground for the babies. So a couple hours later, the birthday girl is awake. She's getting ready to get her makeup done. And this is the before. Yeah. You gotta <laughs> let her shout herself out. Do you want to shout yourself out? On the YouTube? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Easy. Go Easy. Okay, and I'm going to put her Instagram on the YouTube. All right, guys. We are rushing out for dinner. Everybody looks so beautiful. Jay's about to come through. She want a twin. She want to be my twin so bad. I'm going to show y'all her in just a minute. But we're going to this cute place that I told y'all about called The Address, or they also call it Zeta 77. Um, I'm going to show y'all the vibes once we get there.
is the dinner. After the night, we're back home. The girls are waiting for me to get dressed for the club or for the lounge. So let me hurry up. Oh, don't you do that. All right, y'all, this is the outfit of the night. Y'all can't see my shoes, but they are black. Uh, something super cute, super comfortable. We're trying a new place tonight. Um, if that doesn't work out, we're going to the old place. But yeah, this is the outfit, y'all. Happy birthday, Good morning guys. Today is Wednesday. We are at Bay Avenue and we are heading to Starbucks. We have a lot of stores here. <laughs> We're up getting coffee. I want well Maya wanted some Starbucks and I was like, you know what? Let me get some iced coffee. So we're here for the Starbucks. Yes. Do we have Thank the vanilla you. in here? Thank you. Yes. Okay. Excuse me. Now we are back at the room and I got my starts. I feel like this is the first time I actually get to sit down and talk to y'all. We literally have been on go this entire trip. So I guess I'll just use this time to catch y'all up on what we've been doing. Yesterday was boat day today i think we are gonna be i don't know i don't really know the plans for us today but i know we're gonna go get breakfast and then maybe go to the garden or the mall or something like that i decided to keep on the outfit just because i want to be comfortable and we're going to be doing a lot of walking so I don't want to keep having to adjust my clothes so this is what we're wearing this is a casual two-piece set it does have strings right here i got this from shein and it's kind of like those place sets that has um a button down but instead it's a little bit more dressy so yeah this is what we're wearing all right y'all we have finally arrived we're in this um area of Dubai called the Box Center. They have so many different places to shop, different stores, brunch spots. It's super nice. So we are headed to brunch and cake and your girl is super hungry. got the blue mushroom the blue people smurfs smurfs yeah oh, Girls are in line to get some gourmet Turkish ice cream. A cone of vanilla. Okay, I like you. I'm not wasting time. Thank no, you. I don't waste yeah, time. Yeah, I like you so much. Yeah. No kids? No kids. Okay. <laughs> Am I just supposed to grab it? Stop it. 
Oh my God. <laughs> we got ice cream. One, two, three. Miracle Garden was a success, y'all. Just bought a gift for her daughter. It's a, it's a name plate written in Arabic. It's super cute. And now we're about to go. Where are we going, y'all? To the room? To the Airbnb? I think we. Huh? Yeah. Sure. I'm trying to think. I hear you. Where? It is it 584? Yeah. We're riding in the van. 584? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this girl got the van. Aaliyah used to ride it. Uh, <laughs> I always used to call Aaliyah to come out here. Yeah, I just got us riding in the van. I can't believe like it. we come with kids. I can't believe it's good. <laughs> it's good. What kind of Uber do you ride in the van? Anything they give. Anything they give. Okay, guys, we are in the Uber. <coughs> Hi, Jess. Hi, Maya. Hi. Tell them what kind of Uber. We are in a, is this a Mazda? It's a Toyota. Uh, this is a Toyota Sienna. <laughs> it's not a job. Sienna. It's not a Sienna. It feels so yeah. good in here. It's yeah. nice and it's spacious. Y'all, when I tell y'all, I thought we were in a freaking race car. That man was putting the pedal to the metal in his van, baby. I couldn't even record for laughing, y'all. It was so funny. Oh, my God. All right, y'all, we are back home, and I'm outside on the balcony, just looking at my pictures. I gotta, I need to upload some pictures today, because one thing about me, I will take a thousand pictures and forget to upload them. But if you're not following me on Instagram, definitely go ahead over there, as well as my TikTok. Let's get caught up on everything that we've done today. So we started off at the brunch spot. I already told y'all that brunch was really, really good. And then um, after that, we went to the Miracle Garden. Y'all, the garden was so beautiful. I'm so sad my camera died in the middle of us being at the garden. But I was able to get some phone footage. So if y'all see a difference in the quality, that's why. But the garden was so freaking nice and beautiful, y'all. We got so many cute pictures. To me, the garden was kind of like Disney inspired. They had Aladdin. They had Smurfs. They had um, like Cinderella type thing. So it was really, really nice. Um, there were a lot of families there. So I think a lot of people visit like a family vacation and then they go there with their families. You saw a couple of couples and then you saw a friend group. So it was it was a really, really nice time, y'all. So right now it is 5.10 and we have two hours to rest a little bit before we go to the pool. We're going to the rooftop pool tonight. It's called Aura Sky Lounge and we're gonna go there from about 8 to 11.30 and then after that, we're planning to go out. We're planning to go out, baby. <laughs> but yeah, so far Dubai has been amazing, y'all. I feel so blessed to be able to travel the world and see things that I put on my bucket list. Such a blessing. Y'all know how I get when I just sit and reflect. So I'm just sitting on the balcony just reflecting on everything that we've done so far. You know, you make a bucket list like, oh, I want to do all of these things. I want to see these things. I want to travel the world. I want to see the mosque. I want to see Dubai. And then to actually check those things out. It's just such a blessing, y'all. And I'm so grateful to God for allowing me to be able to even experience these things. But yeah, overall, Dubai is very progressive. It's very, very safe here. You'll see people walking all hours of the night, 1 a.m., 2 p. 2 a.m., with their designer purses and glasses and shoes. It's actually one of the safest countries in the world. It's really, really nice here. All right, y'all, we are back. We're dressed. We're getting ready to go to the rooftop pool, and I want to come show y'all my outfit before we left. So this is what we're wearing to the rooftop pool. My favorite kimono, a Shein swimsuit. Fashion over shorts and um, she in sandals. Something cute and comfortable just to get us to the pool. And then maybe when we get to the pool, 
we're getting in the water, okay? One thing about me, I might show a little skin at the front, but everything else is gonna be covered, okay? I love a good kimono moment, love it. I just feel like it's so classy. Yeah. <laughs> Is that my bestie in a taxi? This Today is Thursday and we are dressing ready to go. It's desert day y'all so I'm looking kind of sporty but I just want to come out here and say good morning. We were supposed to go out last night baby when I tell you we came home and crashed like we just couldn't take anymore. First of all the rooftop pool was very cold so I didn't even get in the water because when it's cold my body automatically thinks sleep so I was up there lounging on the little chase or the the beach you know the pool chairs girl and i was fighting sleep okay but i was just taking in the view being reflective as i always do and it was just a good time y'all so definitely add aura uh sky pool to your dubai itinerary it was such a good time the food was good we had pizza um spicy shrimp and tacos and fr truffle fries bomb the drinks not so much so if you do add um if you do decide to go to our sky pool maybe skip out on the drinks maybe drink before you get there because the drinks were not good at all but let's go inside we're about to get some fruit some muffins and some orange juice and then i'm gonna show y'all my outfit so we're about to go sandboarding and this is the desert outfit i have on this black beach cover up from shein i think i got this in an extra large so it can still be baggy at the back, like when I tie it up. And then I got this jumpsuit from um, Amazon. Y'all, this is the jumpsuit that I take on every vacation. So it's literally nothing new. And then I wear my airport shoes, which is these Nike. Y'all, these shoes are so freaking comfortable. It feel like I'm walking on air. Okay, hey guys, we're headed to our car. This is um, our transportation. To get to the desert. All right, guys, we have arrived to the desert safari adventure, and they wrapped our hair, and they got food and everything over there, y'all. Look at the little quad bikes. So they got red bikes, they got blue bikes. The helmets are over there. They have souvenir shops and a restaurant. Alright y'all, we just finished with the camera ride. Now it's time to go dune bashing. The camera ride was short, sweet, and cute. We got some cute pictures. I'll pop them up on the screen.
right guys so now it is time to sandboard i do want to make note that if you are a thick girl or guy they will advise you not to sand them because you will have a very hard time climbing back up the dunes were very steep even the small petite people were having a hard time coming back up so as for me I don't feel like I missed out on anything because if I would have gotten to the bottom and not been able to get back up, I would have been miserable. <laughs> and the dunes, you guys. Look at Jay's taking pictures. Jump! Alright y'all, we're taking a shot before we leave. Cheers! Alright, out. Alright y'all, so we are headed to dinner at ULA Beach Club. I've heard really great things about this place. All on TikTok, everybody say that the vibes are good and the food is good. And those are the two main things you need to look for in a good restaurant. But I'm excited. This is our last dinner before we do girls night. Maya has us some matching pajamas. So I'm super excited to put those on. We gotta be at the airport at 11.30. 11.30 p.m. Because we all fly out around 1.50, 2 a.m. So yeah, last dinner, then girls night. Yeah, he just saved the day. We're on a little golf cart. We would have never made it. We would have never made it. <laughs> recap of the day before we get girls night started so so that was desert day we had so much fun at the desert y'all we did the dune bashing we did atv riding and camera riding it was so much fun um you could have walked this way <laughs> you could have walked this way <laughs> it was so much fun came back to the room packed up and then we had dinner at this place called ula today of course i got salmon it was delicious, y'all. It was so good. And now we're here at Girls Night. Everybody got on their matching satin pajamas. I feel so rich. Girl. I feel so rich in my pajamas. And they got the little cute arms and legs. Like, please, don't play with me. Don't play with me in my pajamas, y'all. This is the last night. We, got, we have like, what, one hour, maybe an hour and a half to do girls night before two hours <laughs> we have an hour and a half to do girls night before we have to call the uber Ooh, it takes 40 minutes to get anywhere throughout the week in dubai we don't know why no, i guess it's because of construction but anyway okay here's about that girl in her cute pajamas and here's jess in her pajamas as well <laughs> don't do my camera like this oh this is a way <laughs> My say we finna do a TikTok, baby. It's so easy, I promise. Let me tell us, Anyway, y'all, this trip to Dubai was good. We had fun. Um, we did. We literally had something to do every single day, y'all. No rest, sleep, <laughs> no. bus. What the what the TikTok say? Club. No club. sleep, bus, club, another club. That's what it was giving. Bar. But we are officially graduated to the auntie club because I feel like we need that one bar, we that one back. <laughs> we, we, we listen, listen, we started too hard, okay? We started way too hard, and then every night after that, it was like, okay, yeah, we're gonna go to this one spot or we're gonna go to sleep. That's literally what it was given. But the name of the park that we went to today was called desert adventures check the description box everything that we did every place that we went will be in the description box you guys okay guys we're gonna get girls night started and we're starting with the tiktok okay yeah girls night is about to start
These bitches want me to do everything. And you ain't did nothing. What wanted you to do? <laughs> Y'all ready? giving my recap i'm not gonna keep y'all for very long i just kind of want to do like a trip overview my thoughts about dubai and things like that but girl before we get started why did i take my lens to dubai and it broke let's see can y'all see it right here you guys dubai was such a great time me personally i think dubai is the perfect trip for a girl's trip um it's a party city they have great brunches great nightlife you know they have a lot of activities and things to do on vacation i saw a lot of families there so a lot of people use it as their family trip and of course you see couples there as well but you know just me personally i think it's more so of a girls trip destination versus like a romantic destination now does dubai have romantic places you can go for your with your boo yes every place does but it's not that many to be honest i, I would not choose dubai as like a honeymoon location i would not choose dubai as a, a location where you would go with your boo and you want to date each other the whole time it's not that type of place you can go to dubai with your boo y'all trying to party if y'all trying to have a good time <laughs> if y'all trying to hit a few landmarks like the mosque um the mall the desert um the burj khalifa if you're trying to hit those landmarks with your boo and skedaddle out of dubai it's the perfect place but as far as an extended five six day eleven day trip with your boo I think y'all will have a good time, you know, enjoying each other's company, but it's not a place that's like super romantic. And I hope y'all understand what, what point I'm trying to make, but it's a perfect girl's trip location. Like, please go there with your girls. And if you're a guy watching my channel, go there with your boys. Have a great time. Well, let's talk about the food. Dubai was surprisingly like very heavily Asian inspired. A lot of the places that me and my friends went to, they either had Asian cuisine or Pan Asian cuisine, which is like sushi, teriyaki chicken, and things like that. I don't know what type of food. I, I honestly think I was expecting like some halal type of restaurants, and which they did have halal, but more than anything, they had um, Pan Asian and Asian types of food. So I was a bit surprised by that. They also have like Greek, Latin, Mediterranean, and stuff like that. 
But the places that we went, that we chose to go to, they had a lot of Pan-Asian and Asian types of dishes. Um, they do, we did find this African restaurant called Enish. Y'all, I had the best jollof rice of my life from Enish, okay? <clears throat> Sorry if I keep rubbing my nose. Because obviously your girl is sick, y'all. I got sick on the way back from Dubai. Honestly, I think Maya got me sick. Because she got in the pool at Aura. It was way too cold at the rooftop, y'all. I guess this is like a segue of me talking about the, the rooftop pool at Aura. Which is like another famous spot. I don't know. We went at night. Our reservation was for 8 o'clock p.m. From 8 to 11. So it's a three hour window. I don't know if it was like super windy and cold because it was nighttime or I don't know if you're going to always get windy and cold because you are like 77 floors in the sky. Either way, it was too cold and this girl did not get in the pool because I don't play with being cold and water, okay? Because that leads to sickness. So, <laughs> Maya and Jess got in the pool but they didn't stay long because it was freaking freezing. Now let's get into um, lodging and places to stay. So our very first night, we got in really, really late. We got into Dubai around 11.45, made it to our hotel around 2 a.m. Um, hotel room service stops at like 3, so we were able to get room service. Um, we chose like a, I think it was a four-star hotel. It was great, great balcony, everything like that. The hotel size was kind of small um, and y'all Dubai has twin size beds in their hotel. I've never seen a twin size hotel bed. Have y'all because I literally have not. We ended up getting the king size bed which all three of us was able to fit comfortably. Um, but yeah that's just my thoughts on the hotel. The hotel was small but it was nice. <clears throat> They probably have larger hotels, but we were going to end up transitioning to our Airbnb anyway. So, we didn't want to splurge on a hotel. Now, in terms of our Airbnb, I think if you're going to Dubai, if you're not staying in a 4.5 to 5 star hotel, you definitely need to get an Airbnb. The Airbnbs in Dubai, honey, are nice, okay? We had a really, really nice Airbnb. The only thing I would change about the Airbnb is maybe the location so we could see. I wish we could have had like a Burj Khalifa view. But we had a view of um, the hotel directly behind us, which was still a nice view. In terms of location, we stayed in the Business Bay, um, which was about a 30 minute drive from the uh, marina area. We did have a yacht day. Um, so, I guess the business bay is kind of like where people go who are traveling to Dubai for work and things like that. But right next to our hotel, literally walking distance, we had a convenience store, which I thought was super convenient. Um, there was a restaurant in, attached to the hotel behind us. We literally was about a 15-minute drive to everything except for the marina. Um... Also, a big tip, if you're going to Dubai, my bed is about to die, y'all. If you're going to Dubai, please go there, get there Thursday, and leave on like a Tuesday or Wednesday because the weekend is what's popping in Dubai. They have good brunches on Friday and Saturday, good nightlife activities on Friday and Saturday. We went throughout the week, so we missed like Soul Brunch on Saturday. All of the cool, fun, lit, African-American, like, r&b type of brunches we missed those but we still had a wonderful time construction starts on tuesday i guess they want to give the tourists a chance to experience dubai without construction on the weekend so that's why i recommend going on a thursday leaving on tuesday because we went throughout the week we experienced construction from tuesday to thursday and that turned out like 15 minute drives until 30 into 30 to 40 minute drives so that's my spiel on Dubai, you guys. Overall, more than anything else, I want y'all to know that Dubai is nothing that they tell you guys about, like on TV, on social media, how they say it's so strict. You can't do this, you can't do this, you can't do that. You can't yell, you can't curse. All of that is, I don't want to say it's a myth, but it's not as strict as what people make it out to be. I definitely think you would do yourself a disservice if you don't look at the laws and rules of the country. You can't go there with booty booty shorts on and <clears throat> hollering and screaming like you would do as if you were in Miami. However, you don't have to be completely covered 
although you know i do like to dress cutely covered i did have my boobs out we had our legs out we went to the beach we were not covered when we went to the beach so don't believe the hype y'all do your own research read up on the laws and go visit these countries for yourself if i was to listen to my family or my friends who <clears throat> are very heavily into social media and they saw this girl go to jail for touching a security guard or police at the airport and they saw this girl go to jail for yelling in public it's always almost it's almost always something that happened before that as to why the police was called. I just can't make to say Dubai is not what people make it out to be. It's not as strict. Um, the laws are enforced, but you're not gonna go to jail for walking down the street, okay? I feel like a lot of people make it out like, oh my gosh, you can't go to Dubai because of A, B, and C, in which in reality, that is the farthest thing from the truth, okay? As you can see in the vlog, babe, we were dressed like we was going out in America, okay? Now, did we just go out breaking laws and stuff? No, we didn't. We didn't do anything that would cause people or the police to look at us and be like, what are those girls doing? You know, we were just regular people. Also, Dubai is one of the top three, I think, safest places to be in the entire world. We have a 5% crime rate, so you can walk down the street by yourself at 4 a.m. And, and you know nothing will happen to you. A leader there, I forgot the, the actual term for it, but one of the Uber drivers told us that the leader there, they don't play that, babe. If you try to commit a crime, you're not going to get away with it, okay? Not even 24 hours. You're not. You're going to probably get confiscated and thrown under the jail within two hours because they don't play about crime, in which I can appreciate that as a black woman. You know, being from America, everything is crime, okay? You Sometimes you can't even go in the grocery store. Because it's crime. <clears throat> so, see y'all in the next video. I really hope you enjoyed this Dubai vlog. Leave a comment, like this video, and share it with a friend. Until then, I will catch y'all in the next video. Bye.